my name is Kara, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the free Father's Day Modern Photo Collage template that is available as part of my free creative toolkit. You can get it for yourself for free from my website. The link is below this video, so go grab that, download it, and let's get started. So we've got three big letter placeholders here, photo placeholders, and I've got three photos ready to go. So I'll just go over and grab my first one. I'm going to select the whole thing by pressing Command or Control A. Then I'll copy it by pressing Command or Control C, and I'll move back over to my image and I'll select the letter that I want that photo to appear in. So in this case, the first D right here. So I'll click to highlight that layer. And then when I press Command or Control V to paste, that photo will be pasted in on its own layer directly above the letter that we want it to appear in. So it's important that the photo be on its own layer directly above the letter that you want it to appear in because we're going to create what's called a clipping mask in order to make that photo appear inside the D. So to do that, we've got it directly above the letter we're gonna put it in. And with the photo layer selected, I'm gonna come up to the layer menu and choose a layer, create clipping mask. And then you'll see that this layer gets what we call clipped to the layer below. And now I can grab my move tool and I can move the photo around within the shape. So the photo image will only be visible anywhere that it overlaps with the stencil layer or the placeholder down below. So if we need to scale this, that's easy to do. Chances are you will. Hopefully when you paste in your image, it'll be rather large. So to scale this, we would press Command or Control T to bring up free transform. And if you don't see the corners, because your image is so large, like maybe when you press um, Command or Control T, you can't see the corners of the image, then you can press Command or Control Zero to zoom out. And then you can just proportionally scale by dragging from one of the corner points inward. And you may or may not have to hold Shift to keep proportion. It just depends on your preferences. So once you are happy with the positioning, then you can go ahead and press enter or click the check mark up here. Perfect, then you're ready to repeat that process with the other two images. Just remember that before you paste them in, you target the letter that you want them to appear in. If you forget, that's okay too. So let's pretend that I forgot and I'll leave this selected and I'll go to my next image, select it, copy it, come back and if I paste it here, you can see that it's up above and it just, if if you try to clip it now, it will just clip on top of this one, which is clipped to the D. So if you forget, it's okay, just before you clip it, take the layer in your layers panel and drag it down on top of the letter that you want it to appear in and then you can come up to the layer menu and choose create clipping mask. So I'll repeat one more time with the D, I'll go get that, I'll target that letter, and I'll come over here, copy it, and paste it. We'll clip it, layer, create clipping mask, and then I'm gonna use my move tool to position it around within the letter. And if I wanna size it down, I'll just bring up free transform again. That looks pretty awesome. So then from here, we can come up and have a look at the wording and I've included two different sample type layers. So there's this one in a script font and then if you wanna hide that, you can click right here to turn off the visibility and then you could click to turn this one on. Maybe you like the look of this little serif font better. Maybe you wanna add your own so you could just hide all of that and use your type tool to create your own type layer or if you um, have everything in here and you decide maybe you wanna have this be black and white, I've included a black and white adjustment layer right up here. So you could just click to turn that on. 
If you wanna tweak the settings, you can double click right here on this icon, and then you can custom, custom mix your black and white however you think looks best. When you decide everything's looking good, you can save this in two formats, once as a PSD, and then you can save another version as a JPEG that will be ready to print. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I have a lot of other fun tutorials and classes on my website. So I hope you'll come back and visit again soon.